Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ms. Trina. If this is your first time here, welcome. If not, welcome back, okay? Today is Tips on Tuesday. So, today for Tips on Tuesday, we have how to apply a braided wig. So, if you guys want to see how I got this flawless application, then keep watching. Okay, guys, so the first thing you want to make sure is that you have your hair braided back. Um, and some straight back braids, make sure they're pretty thin and flat so they're not bulking up through the wig cap. My hairline is extended, as you guys can see, it comes out pretty far. So I'm going to go in with some got to be ultra glue gel in a black container. This is it right here. And I'm just going to put this around my edges. So now that I have the gel on the edges, I'm just going to take a brush. And I'm gonna brush it back. At this point, you can decide if you wanna blow dry or not. I normally don't because I'm just gonna put the nude cap. So I have a nude stocking cap. I'm gonna put this over my head. Now, you normally wanna get a cap that's close to your skin complexion so it won't have a hard time blending. Um, but I'm just gonna use this nude one and then I'm gonna put makeup i'm put foundation on top of this cap and i'm just going to make sure that all of my baby hairs are up under there now if you want to do the balding cap method you can this video is not geared towards the balding cap method because of how i'm going to lay the wig you can still leave this um roundabout <laughs> the excess on the cat right here you could still leave it and still apply your wig and have a flawless outcome um so i'm just gonna leave this if y'all want a balding cap tutorial on how to apply a wig y'all let me know down in the comments below and i'll do that but for the sake of this video i'm just doing it this way so the wig that I'll be using for today's install is from My Brand Beauty. It is a full lace wig. I will be sure to put her at name for her Instagram on this screen right here. So you guys make sure you go over and follow her. And all of her booking and information is on her Instagram page in regards to placing an order for this wig or any wig. She has a variety of wigs. Um, she specializes in knotless tribals and she also has just come out with the braided wig headbands i'm going to insert a picture of me wearing one of the braided wig headbands in this slide right here so you guys it's really convenient fun if you just want to wake up and throw something on and go on the go it's perfect for that so you guys make sure you head over to our page check her out follow her and place your orders for any of your braided wigs Let's get to the details of this wig. This is a full lace wig. It is knotless. So let me show you guys. It's a knotless wig. It is blonde, as you can see. It is extended length. And it is goddess. How beautiful is that? Look at the ends. The details in this wig is ridiculous. Look at that. It's a uh, beautiful and I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see where the stops on me at but this is a gorgeous wig okay so we're gonna get into the install so the first thing that you want to do is you want to be sure to put the wig on your head right so I'm gonna put it on so because it's full lace I normally put my wig on my head to find out exactly where I want to cut the lace. The good thing about this is she already has the outline for where the baby hairs are. So I already know that I'm going to cut the lace around the baby hairs. And when you cut it, you want to do it in like a zigzag, like a swirl. You don't want to do straight across because none of our hairlines are straight across. You want to make sure that you're cutting it in a way that is like basically like zigzag almost, like a swirly. In the motion that I'm moving, like a wave. Ride the 
a wave, a ride a wave, a. <laughs> so you want to kind of do it in a wave motion when you're cutting it. I'm going to cut the lace. So it has the lace in the back and it's full lace. So if you want to put it up in a ponytail, you can put it up in a ponytail. It's just what your preference is. So I'm going to show you guys how I cut the lace. So before you cut the lace, make sure you get a hair tie or something and you pull the hair back so you don't cut any of the braids. Now that I have the lace on here, I'm going to cut it up the middle. Like so, right? You want to make sure you pull it forward. So, this is my this is where my baby hairs are going to be, okay? So, I'm just going to start the cut. And you guys can see I'm like Moving my scissors, and then I'm gonna follow the outline of my hairline. Is my hair, my hairline as well. So my recommendation for cutting laces is best to leave a lot on until you actually get it placed on your head to see where you actually want to put it at, instead of cutting off too much and then you can't go back. So for your ear tabs, you want to cut the lace around the shape of your ear because it's not going to be comfortable having a wig on and it's all around your ear so what you want to do is right on this corner of this braid I'm just going to go up you want to continue to cut up and now you see that falls right around your ear tab. This is your ear tab right here. And I'm gonna take the back off and I'm gonna cut it. So if you ever have issues, people always have issues with laying their ear tab. Most of the time it's because you're either not using enough product or you don't have it cut correctly where you cut it wrong and it doesn't have enough lace to lay properly. So that's most of the issue most of the time. So as y'all can see, it's a lot of lace left on right here, which is fine because I'm going to go back in because I have to pull my cap up some and I still have to add the foundation to my cap. Make sure you cut it around your ear where it's not going to bother you because you don't want the lace to be itching you. So I'm just going to cut off a little more and then I'm just going to start from this side and cut For a fact, this is gonna to be too much lace, but I don't I don't have it on to the point where it is the placement is correct right now. See, all of this is gonna to have to be cut off. I just wanted to cut it to the point where I can see what I'm doing, right? So now that I see that all of this can be cut off, I'm gonna take the wig off. Now that I have my guideline, and I'm just gonna to continue to follow this guideline. I just wanted to show y'all what I'm doing for the back. You just want to follow straight across. You really don't have to do too much zigzagging back here unless you really plan on wearing your hair up in the ponytail. But I'm just going to cut that straight across and then towards the end going towards the air part. I'm just going to follow that guide that I already cut when I was cutting it on my head. So you want as less, la as less lace as possible so it can lay correctly but you want enough where you can actually lay it, right? So I wanted to show you guys what this basically looks like. Now that I have cut the lace, and I haven't even laid this yet, and it's already looking like scalp, like that's crazy. So y'all can see my cat right there, so I'm gonna fix that, and then I'm gonna do the next step, which is I'm gonna get my foundation, and I'm gonna get a brush, and I'm just gonna pack the foundation onto the cat to match my skin tone. So I'm using the foundation that I would normally use on my skin and I'm just gonna pat it on a brush like this and I'm gonna pat it all over the wig cap. So because this is full lace, you would wanna do the whole cap, right? But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do half of it because I'm not really going anywhere after this. I'm doing this video for y'all to get y'all the tips, okay? So now that that's done, because we're doing a glueless install, we're not using glue. I don't need my edges to be snatched, okay? We're gonna use some holding spray to lay this wig. When you are using 
glueless methods. I'm going to show you guys something, right? This is the back of the wig, right? You see that band? You want to take this out and pull it, okay? You want to pull it like that. That's going to make the wig shrink down. And you want to hook it to the other side, right? So you want to pull it. And you want to hook it to the other side because this is going to give you let me tell y'all something I have had instances where my wigs have flew off when I was out dancing or whatever because I didn't have a band or I didn't have my class I did not connect my class on the back so this is what it looks like right once you connect it so now I'm going to put the wig back on, and it's snug. You see that? It is snug, honey. Snug, right? So now I want to fix it, get my ear tabs to where they belong. So I have this extra piece of lace on the sides because of my hairline coming out that far. I'm going to use baby hairs to cover that up. As y'all can see, it's already fitting snug and I don't even have, the only thing that's lifting right now is the tabs, right? I don't even have any glue on this part or any um, holding spray on this part or anything. So next you want to do is you want to move this back and we're going to take two different kinds of setting sprays. We're going to take, they're both by Got To Be. So y'all may be familiar with the Blast and Freeze spray. This is new. High Insta Hold. I use both of these. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to spray this all across here. And then I'm going to also spray it right above the cat. So, you want to make sure you spray right here on the band and also right in front of it because you want this lace to stick not only to the feet in front of the cat, but you want it to stick right here too. So it does it's not lifting. Make sure you get down here this is the ear tabs. This is where people have the issues at. You're going to take the blow dryer on a medium setting and you're just going to do a little blow dryer just to get the, the spray tacky. Once you have the spray tacky, you want to go ahead and pull your wig forward. And use the spray as needed to get your wig to light. And you might have to use the multiple coats to get it to where it needs to be. So I took the braid out where the baby hairs are supposed to be just because I had a hard time getting this flat. Um, actually putting the lace down flat just because the braid was kind of not bunching it up but it wasn't getting it as flat as I wanted it to be. So I took the braid out so I'm still going in I'm still laying it. So we're just going to go in and we're going to do the same thing to the other side to lay the other side. So sometimes what I like to do when I'm applying my lace, I'm doing the middle right now, so I like to pull it down to this side so there's not any lumps or anything. And I'm just gonna do so as you guys can see, I cut my ear tab earlier, but as you can see, this still is hovering over my ear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this. Right, so I'm just going to cut this braid off. You 
not want this lace over your ear bothering you. I promise you it's the most irritating thing to have the lace right here on your ear. So just make sure you cut your ear tabs correctly. So I just applied more of the spray right up here, right above the um, cap. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down like this. Okay. And I'm going to pull that over. And I'm going to take the blow dryer and I'm just going to blow dry this. So if you need to go in back anywhere else and add some spray and just put the um, blow dryer on it, feel free to do so. Okay guys, so as you can see, I went in and I did my baby hairs are Vretti. Um, I did my baby hairs off camera just because I wanted this video to be more so geared towards how to lay a braided wig. Um, a baby hair tutorial I could do in another video. Um, if y'all want, just let me know down in the comments below. But for the sake of the length of this video and trying to just keep it focused on one particular topic, I decided to do my baby hairs off camera. So the wig is on. As you guys can see, and you see I did the baby hairs, um, and it is secure. You see that? Like, I am literally like, yanking it. That's not going anywhere. My baby hair came up a little bit because it's not set all the way, but yeah. So, once I did my baby hairs, this is what I went in with. The Got TV Insta Hole, I went over top of this, and then I put a scarf on. I put a scarf on around here and I let the baby hairs and around the lace basically set into my skin. This right here is what's going to give you that extreme hold. Okay? So, now that we've done that, as you guys can see, I pushed my cat back, whereas it wasn't all the way up here because it just looks more realistic, but you can also see that foundation coming through on the parts to make it more realistic as far as my skin tone and skin complexion. So around the front part of here for the lace, what I want to do is I want to go in with this Julia's Face palette right here. You can go in with your foundation powder, whatever you have, close to your skin complexion. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And this is in Yodit. And I'm just going to take this brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to pat a little in there and I'm just going to do this within the beginning of the lace, right? You can already see there's a difference. Just so it can blend into my skin and just so there's a nice transition from here to here, right? So we want a nice transition. See? That already looks better. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Y'all know I had to go do my makeup and give y'all a full effect, right? Anywho, you know how sometimes you have your hair a certain color or a certain weight and you have to have your makeup done? I feel like blonde hair is a must that you have to have your makeup done. And this is a beat. Okay? A beat. No eyeshadow, but it's still beat. If y'all want to see a tutorial on this look right here and how I got it, make sure y'all comment down below. But once again, this knotless full lace wig is from... My brand of beauty, make sure you guys check her out. I'll leave all of her information tagged below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. I put some little curls here to hang. Let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments below. If y'all want another braided wig application tutorial to see how I do it with a baldy cap. I did not do this method with a baldy cap, as you can see, and it still came out flawless, okay? So, I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for your support, your continued support. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. This is...